Hello everybody, what's up? How are you doing? Welcome to another Game Maker Studio tutorial and then today we'll show you how to make a very simple room transition which is basically a fade in and fade out. Fade to black, you can later change the color to any color if wanted, but black is the simplest one. So, this can be used in RPG style, right? like you see here, it can be used in platformers or top-down shooters. So let me start up a Game Maker and I can show you how to make it. Down in the description, I have provided you with a link to the start project file that I have right in front of me. In here, we have three sprites, sprite player, basically 32 by 32. All of these sprites are 32 by 32, just for information. With the origin centered for player, a wall completely gray for also centered, for just basically to be able to see which room we are in, and tele for a teleport. Then we can get to a person, which is also centered. Then we have the four objects OBJ player with a speed variable, that's all, and very simple movement code. We have a wall that does absolutely nothing, OBJ teleport that does absolutely nothing, and this transition that also does nothing. And then there's three rooms ARM initialize, 640 by 480, speed 60. And in the creation code, it will just quickly take us to the next room. We have ARM room 1, which is a red room with one written onto it with the OBJ wall. And of course, we also have the player in here. We have ARM 2, basically the same, just another color. And of course, OBJ player is persistent. We will start with going to the room, reminitionize, and change the creation code. We'll just add one simple line, and that is enum, which is a numerator, transmit the name of transition, and in here we'll add fade. The reason I use an enumerator here is because if you later want to add more transitions to this, then we can do that, which I will do in the next video. Finishing up here, we'll go to the room and open OBJ teleport. In here, we'll add a create event. Create event will have, we'll just write initialize variable. And we'll have four variables. First is next room, which will be equal to no one, since we haven't declared which this is the next room yet. The kind of transition to equal transition fade, the the numerator that we just created, the xx value to be minus one and yy value to minus one. xx and yy is basically the x and y position that the player will go to after the transition is done. Then we'll go into a create a step event, add in a piece of code, and I'll call this trigger. And this will trigger once when the player collides with the OBJ teleport. So if place meeting X and Y of the this object and OBJ player, and if there is no current is existing instance, sorry, existing instance of since transition since we don't want more than one of those, then we can run this code, and this will only run once. Here we'll have to go to a script, called, which I'll create later, and we'll call it room transition, room go to transition, and we can add the parameters later. But before we get to that script, we'll have to open the sys transition and add in a piece of code. Oh, sorry, first create event and add in a piece of code. This will almost be the same as the OBJ teleport, but they'll have a few more variables. So we'll have next room to no one, kind to transition that fade, xx to minus one, and yy to minus one, but we'll also add in step, which is the current step of the animation, and time, which is the total length of the animation in steps. Now we can get to creating the script, Okay, room go to transition and 
arguments needed for this will be room that we want to go to, transition, x, y, and if wanted, the amount of time in steps that we wanted to. So we'll see width and instance that we'll now create and position doesn't matter of OB no sorry says transition there we'll change some of the variables in here in here we'll have to change the next room of this transition to argument zero as you see the first argument the kind to sorry our Argument one, the x x to argument two, y y to argument three. That's not a three. And only if argument count is greater or equal to five, and argument four is greater than zero, can we set time to equal argument for. This basically checks that if there is a, la a fifth variable, no, sorry, argument, only then, and if it's above zero, we will put it into time. Now, back at the OBJ, did I misspell something? I think I misspelled something. There, we can actually put in the parameters. Room to next room. Transition to be equal kind x to be x x y y n. We can let time be as it is. I find 30 to be a good amount. Now back at this is transition, we can start. We can continue with adding a begin step. And here we'll just first of all increase step by one and check if step is greater than time then we'll have to in destroy this instance because we want only for it to be until time so only 30 steps then we'll add in a draw event and inside this draw event, well, the first thing we have to do is to check whether or not the screen is fully black. The way that I have set it up here is that it will be black in the middle of this maximum amount of time. So if time is 30, then it will be fully black at 15. So to check that, we will have to check if step is equal to seal time divided by 2. This basically rounds the number up to the full first highest number, uh, full first integer. So, for example, if it's 15.5, it will turn it to 16. And uh, now this will basically just divide by half. And then we'll have to do a check, do a user event that I'll create later. So, ev perform, maybe other ev user zero. And in this one, we'll basically be changing the room and putting the play player in the correct position in the room. We'll set draw color black to no, not black. Well, see black. And here comes how it works. We'll set with alpha. We'll set draw set alpha to equals one minus step minus time divided by 2 divided by time divided by 2 and we need to add in ABS here so it will take 1 which is basically fully opaque and do minus of the absolute value of step minus divide time divided by 2 so a step is let's say 1 and time is as 30, then we'll take 1 minus 15, which is minus 14, and then to make the, the absolute value, uh, 
your absolute value, making it a 14, turning it into a positive number, and then, then again dividing it by time, divided by 2. This will basically, when step is halfway to time, it will be fully opaque, this will turn 0, and when it's either 0 or 30, it will be almost not visible. So to make things a little bit simpler for drawing the rectangle, I will just create two variables, y width and height. Width will be equal to view x view plus view w view. I'm going to explain why later. I just need to add in zero here. And height equal to view y view plus view h. And those will be used to give us the second x and y position on in the draw rectangle parameters. Because sorry, let me just write this. This will basically take the top left corner of our x, top left corner of our x and y view, and add height and width to it meaning that the rectangle will only be drawn exactly where the player can see and nowhere else making it a little bit less heavy on the PC and we do not want an outline, there and last but not least we'll have to draw set the alpha back to 1 so we don't mess the alpha of any other objects and to finish up with this transition we'll have to add in other User defined zero. First thing that happens here is, sorry, we can add in this change room and position. Room go to, just almost forgot, and I'd make it next room. And if the xx is not minus one, and if yy is not minus one, there, there we'll set obj player.x to be equal to xx and here we'll have to set obj player.y equals yy this basically says that if we are not changing the x or y position then we want it to keep it the exact same one there and we're done now we have to go into our rooms and add in object teleport just set it there I'll set the scale of this to let's say 15 that should be good and one on this side and do exactly the same so it covers the whole side when you go into the collide with this OBJ teleport you want to be teleported on the right side of room number two because you're going in left and coming on the right side so we'll have to go into the creation code and set first of all next room to be equal to rm2 because that's the room we want to go to and we don't want to change the x value but we want to change the y value but the xx will want to go to the total room width so room width minus 16 so that the player does not collide with this again when it reaches and changes room again that's all you have to do here and this will have to be the opposite so we'll have we'll do next room is still rm2 and x6 is equal to 16. now we'll have to do the exact same one on the, this room so we can go back to rm1 15 here and 15 there Uh, add in the same code R1 x is equal to room with minus 16 this is works only in this where both rooms are the same size but you can change that number to be whatever you want depending on the room you're in and 60 and now this should be completely done so I fixed all the problem with the previous, with the all the errors that are fixed now. There are a few problems here and there, but as you can see here, 
is exactly like it's supposed to be, the fading works as you go between rooms and you can go on the left side here and the right side on the room 1. Perfectly fine, it's working. One last thing that you ha have to remember was that, that I forgot to show is that you have to set the depth of this transition to be lower than anything else in the room, if not the right, this fading is not going to work. Because that other parts may be drawn on, will be drawn on top of the fade, which will not always be what you want. So, thanks for watching this video. I'm currently in the works of making another transition video, which will basically be like one of the old Zelda games. So you have that to look forward to, and I'll put the link in the description when that is finished. So, till next time, goodbye and have a great day.